Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. I want to do a quick analysis on the US dollar, Japanese yen. Really interesting points right now on this. So this is US dollar, Japanese yen. I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. Also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and MultiCharts. Uh, this is the weekly time frame for US dollar. You can see uh, from mid 2015, from these lows here on our wave four pullback on um, on US dollar Japanese yen, we have had this bullish bias, but it just cannot break out to the upside. We've got this contraction with these resistance levels as well. So we see this price action longer term uh, in 2000, uh, you know, 2017, 2018. We're contracting into this and we're looking like we're going to squeeze and we're going to pop out one side. But which side are we going to go at, at this moment in time? You would say this is a bullish bias longer term with a breakout to the upside and to continue that overall longer term bullish trend. But obviously uh, the US dollar is going to have across the world uh, an impact on this. Uh, so let's have a look at the weekly time frame on DXY on the US dollar. So this is DXY, uh, again, another weekly chart. Uh, we're not really interested in the wave count so much where we are right now. But you can see the US dollar in 2018 did start to gather some strength, but we're now at these big resistance levels here. This is a really, really critical phase that we're in right now for the US dollar. This could break down to the downside. Now, when we look at trends, when we've had a previous bearish trend on a weekly time frame, so a longer term bearish trend here, let's just zoom in a little bit here. So 2016, we've had a bearish trend. OK, we've had an Elliott wave. One, two, three, four and five. All the criteria have been met. That was a great bearish trend to, to say we're on a trend reversal is a little bit early. Yes, once we go through this previous wave four pivot here, we can say that we're in trend reversal territory, but we've got the big resistance level here for the US dollar, which is causing a lot of problems right now. There's a lot of political uh, issues uh, in the US. Uh, there's been a lot of government shutdowns. That, that growth has uh, really sort of stagnated uh, uh, you know, towards the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. We can truly say, however, if we break this previous wave one pivot, we will be back into a bullish trend on the US dollar. So this, you know, once we get through this 99 here, we, we are looking pretty strong, but we've got to get through this resistance level. So what does that mean for US dollar, uh, Japanese yen currency fair? So let's let's go from this weekly on US dollar, Japanese yen down to the daily. This is interesting for me right now because again, when we talk about trend failures or trend reversals, we look at previous wave one pivots in the yellow here. We've got the wave one pivot on the, on the daily time frame. We can see our contraction lines from the weekly coming in. We can see a, an attempt to break out of that here on the daily and it failed and came back in this contraction zone. Also, if we look left here, this failure was at the previous wave five low on the daily time frame as well. Really strong support level there and the markets didn't like it and it bounced straight back up. However, we're in a critical phrase phase on the daily time frame. If we cannot break through this resistance level we're in right now, remember the US dollar has a big part to play in this and we don't break this wave one pivot, we're on a wave four pullback. And this could start to come back down. We've got this pivot point here. So if we break this 108.43 sort of level, we could be coming short on a fifth wave down, wave down to initially test this low. That's always going to be an issue. But ultimately, we could have $103 in there. So this is a critical phase. Now, some of the things that we look at when we're looking at this wave four behavior, we look at this 535 oscillator during the wave four. Currently, this has not broken the 140% line. Now, when we're looking at an oscillator like this, the 535 oscillator compares the, the distance between the 5 and the 35 moving averages and puts it in a, in a pictogram like this to show you uh, that cross section, if you like, of that gap. Very, very simply put. When we look at wave 4 pullback on an Elliott wave sequence, 
between 90 and 140% is the real sweet spot. And we're in there right now. If this fails to push up through and break this wave one pivot and stays in this zone, we would be looking for a short on US dollar if we broke down through 108.43. Again, this pivot here. So we could run out of juice. A lot of factors with the US dollar uh, coming into this. Uh, you know, if this political issue in the, in the US continues um, and they've had very poor manufacturing data just recently, uh, you know, all of those things could play into a bit of weakness with the US dollar. And this fifth wave short could be on on the daily time frame. So, again, I've just used the Elliott Wave indicator suite there just to show where we are. It's an interesting point with US dollar Japanese yen right now, because if we do break this wave one pivot here and we come out of this contraction zone, you know, around about 113 or something like that, we've got a great potential breakout on the weekly for a longer term trade on uh, US dollar Japanese yen to that fifth wave target on of the weekly but at this moment in time we could be on those verges of some weakness and a further movement down so very interesting times do keep an eye out on us dollar japanese yen so that's it for today have a great training day great weekend and i'll speak to you all very soon